I don't want your support is such a strange hill to die on for so many people, but we see it more often than not. I have said, I don't care if you agree with me. I don't care if you disagree with me. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care who you sleep with. I don't care what your religion is. You could support me. You can give me money. You could support me in whatever way you want to. I am not here to judge or anything like that. But that's just me. And I guess that's why I'm different than a lot of these people that are in the games journalist world or the games media or anything like that. It typically seems to be a leftist standpoint where they have to denounce the support of someone that they deem to be toxic. I don't know. Maybe their inner circle is going to tell them you're a bad person for having the support of someone that they don't like. I'm not sure. But we're talking about more Helldivers drama because the community manager that created a lot of this controversy within the Discord has been fired. And there has been more developments. First, let's watch this two-minute clip from the Asmund Gold Clips channel to give us a little bit of the information. So Helldivers has fired the Discord community manager Spitz, who inflamed the community with his flip defenses of PlayStation Network, which he later walked back. And he cites asking players to do negative reviews as the reason. Context. This is why people initially hated him. But if it's a deal breaker to have to take 120 seconds out of your day to enter an email and a password, change your Steam review, and make your displeasure known on a platform that matters. See, that right there, that take really did get him in a lot of trouble. And again, this is a community manager that is basically dismissing the concerns of the community, not understanding what the problem is, why people are upset, and then blaming them and saying, oh, just take, if you can't take 120 seconds to, it's such nonsense. But again, that's why people initially didn't like this community manager named Spitz. Your gnome on a platform that matters. This will kill Helldivers 2, backpedal or lose your player base. And then the community manager says, I thought you were refunding and leaving. And then the redemption. Players making their displeasure known through reviews, refunds, etc. gives us more pull. Bro, there's no way that you can say this. There's no way you can say downvote the game so Sony lets. I mean, I don't really see a, like, it makes sense. And it worked, and that's exactly what happened, is that they got the attention of Sony. I understand the point Asma's making there, too. Let's just do what we want. Oh my god, this guy's about to get cooked. Guys, I called it. Yeah, I did. Y you can't tell people to review bomb the game. He took a massive risk, but it cost him his job. This is what he says. I appreciate all the support, and I appreciate even more that everyone can play the game again without restrictions. I knew I was taking a risk with what I said about refunding and changing reviews. I stand by it. It was my job to represent the community, and that's what I did. Taking the rest of the day off, not feeling super well. Love you all. The Twitter comments are cooking him. The reason why the Twitter comments are cooking him is because Mark Kern has been on a war against another community manager, and people in the comments probably think that it's the same community manager that said that Mark Kern was a rapist or had sexually assaulted people. But if anybody actually paid attention, they'd know that these are two different people. Yes, but I think that people were still frustrated with the initial comments that Spitz had said as well. Um, and... It's like, it feels like he was playing both sides. It, it feels like his comment that was talking about review bombing, it felt like that was a kind of a course correction because he realized how much he stepped into it. That's how, what I think. But again, there's more to this that we're going to get to that makes me really question this Spitz person in general. To be fair, Mark Kern specified that most of the blame should be put on the lead CM Baskinator, who even though Correct. she knew about the upcoming account linking, did nothing to prepare her team to manage the situation. Yeah, it was dumb for him to have said that. And then he realized that after he looked into it more and he apologized. Spitz played a very pivotal role by explicitly saying that giving negative reviews... But did he straight up apologize? I don't know if he straight up apologized... Okay, yeah, I was completely, okay, here it is. Yeah, I was completely unaware of how many countries didn't have the ability to make a PSN account when I made that statement. I deeply regret implying that it was so easy for everyone to just sign up and not have to worry about it. It's absolutely not our intention to force people to break Sony TOS or just not play the game if they're in a restricted region. There needs to be a better solution. Okay, I forgot that, that I, I did read that one uh, a few days ago. After he looked into it more and he apologized. Spitz played a 
very pivotal role by explicitly saying that giving negative reviews and shitting on the game will give them more leverage against Sony. He said what, as far as I know, nobody ever has said about any game in terms of their relationship with the publisher ever. And he risked his job for that. I think we should respect that. And he was an idiot for saying what he originally said, but I think he made up for it and more. I respect it, yes. And I've seen that a lot. A lot of people are basically saying that they respect Spitz and they appreciate him for, for what he's done. And while I do understand that, this right here makes me forget all of that. So here is Grum's tweet. And he says, I think Spitz in the end actually ended up helping Helldivers in a big way. And that they should have fired Baskinator instead for never briefing and prepping her team for something they knew about for months. She let him walk right in the fire and then fired him. Apparently, this is the guy Spitz that was fired the community manager in question over Discord, and Spitz responds to Grums, Katie has never been anything short of, phen of a phenomenal boss. She's had my back through everything and was the reason I got the job at all. I have no problem with that statement. It's this part right here. I don't want your support. It's such a fucking stupid take. I don't know if this is like an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old or a 20-year-old. Uh, I have no idea. Because typically Discord mods aren't a... It's not a paid position. It's a volunteer, a volunteer position. This has created a ton of controversy, which has put a lot of attention on a lot of different people in a short amount of time. And I imagine this person is probably getting a ton of social media attention. And I hope that people aren't just going in on this Spitz person. And I would obviously not encourage anyone to do anything. Um, but it's clear that the comments are pretty brutal at this point in time. I would, I would recommend this person get off the internet for a little while and stop talking. Tweets like this are a huge mistake and they shouldn't be happening. But this is such a bad take you don't actively tell people you don't want their support that is a leftist tactic typically that's usually something the left goes i don't want your support what does that even mean so so you're telling grums that he's not allowed to publicly say something about you Regardless if it's for or against, you're telling him you're not allowed to say positive things about me. It's such a stupid thing to say, and he's getting cooked in the comments again. Now, the reason I'm questioning if this is really him is this account only has one tweet. Now, the account did join in 2019, but it has, it has one tweet. That's it. And it, the one tweet is his response to Grums. Now, Grums quote tweeted, it says I'm unable to view the post. I don't know if that's because he blocked Grums. I have no idea. But this is Grums quote tweeted that says, you don't have my support. I just pointed out you got screwed. And that's the whole thing. Like, it's not like Grums is going like, I stand with Spitz. I'm with Spitz all the way until the end. He's simply just saying like, hey, this is my opinion based on what happened. And you're coming in here like a girl and saying, I don't want your support. It's pathetic. It's pathetic behavior. But ultimately, yes, Baskinator is the true uh, problem it would appear in this situation based on what we're seeing right now but this has been a disaster this whole thing has been a disaster up to this point and n nonsense like this makes me not think that this person is someone that should uh be on a lot of people are going he's on the side of the gamers and it's like i don't think so i don't think so at all not with not with a, a thing where you say i don't want your support to someone like well first of all to say that to anyone but to say that with someone like Grums, it's just, it's a weird, weird uh, take, and uh, I don't like it at all. So we're going to continue to follow this. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.